Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fierce Floyd Show. As always, I am your host, Fierce Floyd. And today, as you see behind me, we're going to talk about full faith and credit. Okay. But who's getting the full faith and credit? And where's it coming from? All right. So behind me, as you see, it's a screenshot. And uh, I'm going to dive right into the Department of State authentication page. We're going to break this down. Let me uh, to the max so you can see we are wall to wall. All right. There's the grommet, the archival instruction. There's my number. United States of America, the seal, Department of State, to all to whom these presents shall come greetings. Okay. For these presents or presents. Hmm. I, which would be the U.S. Secretary of State, certify that. And it's real interesting uh, that that letter is capitalized. That the document hereunto annexed is under the seal of the state of Texas and that such seal is entitled to full faith and credit asterisk asterisk boom denotes for the contents of the annex document the department of state right that's what this says right here assumes no responsibility, which means they don't have the money, so they don't have to supply the full faith and credit. Right? This certificate is not valid if it is removed or altered or in any way whatsoever. Okay? Uh, and I should scroll down, you know, just to show you, there's the seal from the Department of State. And, yeah. All on the up and up. <clears throat> Anthony Blinken, one of his representatives, whoever the hell that is. I want to show you this. Okay. And now let's dive into who's getting the full faith and credit. Well, it's the seal. And what does the seal look like? Uh, get over to the seal. And this is the next page. Boom. Here's your seal. Okay. Here's your Department of State. Here's your Texas. State of Texas. Now, we're going to read this document. Nowhere on this document are you going to see anything about my name or anything about me or anything related to me. Sec the State of Texas, Secretary of State. I, John B. Scott, Secretary of the State of Texas, do hereby certify that I am duly appointed and qualified Secretary of State of the State of Texas and under by, and by virtue of laws thereof, the custodian of its laws and the registrar of its public officers, and that according to the records of this office, Marilyn Burgess is District Clerk, Harris County, Texas, and is entitled to act in that capacity and to certify to instruments in that department. Now, what I am having authenticated is my exemplified copy of my name change decree, which is not a certificate of live birth. That's why it's worded this way. However, it would be worded the same way if this was to say John B. Scott uh, is the Secretary of State for the state of Texas and is entitled to act in that capacity. Okay, so you just change these these two right there to fit whatever titled entity you're going for. And I can show them to you. I have them. Uh, this was issued April 18th, 2022, certificate of number. And guess what, folks? There's the seal. That right there is entitled to all the full faith and credit, not of the Department of State, but which department in the federal government would have the full faith and credit? Department of Treasury. That's where the money's at. That's why there's an asterisk denoting for you that 
you ain't getting it from the Department of State. You got to go somewhere else. We're not telling you, but you got to figure it out on your own. All right. So next, here's the exemplified copy. Okay. Order of original petition for change of name, change of adult by decree. File number in reef, Lloyd Pleasant Tarvin fourth, and an adult and a petitioner, pro per. Signed. Boom, 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 boom. There's the actual decree, as you can see it down here. Boom. There's the, I skipped a page in here. There's the order signed by Judge Frank Pierce. Here is the certification by the clerk. Okay. Certify. This is a true and correct copy of the original record file. Blah, 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 blah. We all go back to this. It's the seal. I certify that the document here into annex is under the seal of the state of Texas and that such seal is entitled to full faith and credit. There you go, folks. Full faith and credit. Explain to you, okay? It's not yours. It's the state's. Why is it the state's full faith and credit? Okay? That's not your certificate of live birth. It's the state of Texas's. You got yours at the hospital. Mom did anyway, or your dad, or somebody. Right? Okay, because the full faith and credit goes to the state. Who is the state of Texas? Okay. Let me, let me go pop that up for you real quick. It's just so so I can connect the dots for you, and you all going to go, oh, okay, Floyd. Yeah, you, you got that. You nailed that. Explain that to me. some reason man my uh laptop is just not functioning properly imagine that Bunch of stuff dog it on me one no Like I said, it's just. I'm sure, everything on this is jam packed full. Try that again. What we have here, as I've shown a gazillion times, DMB Business Background Report, Judiciary Courts of the State of Texas, DMB Business Background Report. All right, this was printed January 29, 2008. Judiciary Courts of the State of Texas, there's a Dunn's number. They are a subsidiary of the state of Texas in Austin, Texas. At the Supreme Court building, the top executive was whoever's the uh, Chief Justice of the Texas Supreme Court, state court system, state court system, the corporate details provided below may have been submitted by the management of the subject business and may not have been verified with the government agency, which records record such data, business type corporation. It is a profit corporation established in 1836. It should actually say March uh but there you go all right and as you see this is a certified copy from liberty county you can go get one from hope cross right there he's still there there's page one of that so uh as you see the state of texas is a for-profit corporation and it is a subsidiary of usa inc right so if it's a subsidiary of USA Inc., doesn't it make all the sense in the world that the seal underneath 
they're a subsidiary. It's all full faith and credit. Not you, because it's got to go into your trust that they created for you when you were birthed in their port. Right? There you go. Connecting the dots for you. Most people read this incorrectly and think that they have access to their full faith and credit because they have a double authenticated certificate of live birth. Nope. I'm telling you where it's going. That's why, folks. And we know what they do with it. They hypothecate it. Found this information valuable. Like the presentation, like the information, you like me, you hate me, I don't care, whatever. <laughs> like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Maybe you'll get a notification if they, they don't have me shadow banned. Uh, leave a comment below, question, whatever. If you want to reach me, the Fearless Floyd Show at yahoo.com. Fearlessfloydshow.com is the website. Go on there. I've got trust classes still available. Uh, maybe doing some lives here uh, pretty soon. Maybe see uh, see how many people respond and yeah, may open it up and start doing it again with Ann or not. We'll see. Um, got Ann's books on trust. Got the ebook, got the soft cover books. Got, still got plenty left behind me to uh, send out to you immediately. Actually, I'm going to leave here and go to the post office as soon as this video processes and gets uploaded. Um Let's see. Uh, they cover everything. Uh, the Fearless Floyd Show across every social media platform you can check a stick at. Come check me out. Appreciate it. Uh, this is going on TikTok, too. I made it under 30 minutes. Have a nice day.